Good morning, Chavis gang. How y'all doing out there? I missed y'all yesterday. I had to help my dad yesterday. He went to the dentist to get tea. Excuse me. Tea pool. And so, I was helping him with that yesterday. So, I'm sorry about yesterday, y'all. But, um, working in this journal is really, really helping me. Um... Actually, it was Miss Shisa Wells. Is uh Miss Shisa Wells, um talked about that uh, a good bit last year and this year. If you follow her, if you don't, check your girl out. <clears throat> she speak on some truth. So here's my truth. My truth starts with being homeless a year. And anybody that was following me last year would know, you know, bits and pieces about what's going on and, you know, all that. So, um, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm still on the housing authority waiting list, waiting on them. Um, I have called other programs that, um, waiting on some people to call me back. Um, y'all, I'm sorry about my hair. The kids had done, that's all I care about lately. So, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going through right now. Still playing the waiting game. Um, um, just to get y'all a little cold, caught up, um, I was staying with some, my stepdaughter, but now I'm staying with my, back with my mom and dad. So, um, that's why I'm trying to do braids. Um, cause really y'all, that's really what I'm really, really good at. Um, I'm gonna do some braids on the channel one day, but I don't know when. Um, yes, when I go home, preferably it'll be soon on my birthday. Like I said, it's Monday and I'll be 40. Um, and I'm, I'm happy, you know, God gave me 40 precious years on this earth. I am grateful for him, forever grateful for him, at least giving me 40 years. So, y'all, it's a blessing. So, I'm not going to complain. Like I said, I used to, I used to, oh, I, you know, complain. But I'm not with that anymore at this point. I'm going to keep pushing and keeping the positive positive thinking. So, it's not going to be nothing easy. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's, it's going to be his days when I'm down. It's days when I'm up. And then I remember it's not my battle. So, when I say the battle is not mine, it belongs to the Lord. I truly believe that. I truly feel that. I truly, I am truly living that. It's not my battle. It was never my battle. It it's God's battle. And if you ever want to hear the song, it's made by Yolanda Adams. It's called The Battle Is Not Yours. So, going through this journey in the beginning, it was like, you know, before I was immature. Um, I ain't going to say immature as much as believing, okay, I can fight this. I can fight this. I believed in God then too, but I felt like, oh, I got this. I got this. I don't have this. I don't have this. So now I'm learning, okay, Tisha, this ain't your battle. You trying to get in the fighting field with the devil and he going to win every time because you are human. You put, you put it in God's hand and leave it in his hand and don't worry about it no more. So... That's what I did. I put. That's why I say I'm not going to speak on all of it until I go home. It's going to be parts to this. It's going to be four or five parts to it. Because it, it's, it was a, a year worth of journey. I'm going to speak my truth no matter who don't like it. That is my truth. I can't speak for nobody else, but I can speak for me. And that's where I'm at now. Because... I know once I come out this 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 situation, 
once God pulled me out of this situation, I know it ain't going to be easy. I know this road is not going to be easy once he pulled me out. It's going to be more trials. It's going to be more tribulations. But I'll take y'all through where I can take y'all through. Where I'm starting at now is where I'm homeless. That's where I'm at. And so for those that's going through the homeless situation um, and you don't have family to lean on, baby, just know that you're not the only one. There's people out there in your situation. And, you know, I was thinking the other day, you know, um, at one time I was thinking, oh, nobody got it as hard as me. Nobody do this. Nobody got this. Nobody do this. This this not what's been going on lately. But as I grown, as I'm growing into the person I need to be to, to help someone else, y'all, to help somebody else, you can't have it in your mind, oh, I'm homeless. This is the worst. You can't think, okay, I'm the only one going through this. I'm the only one God put in this situation. But there's people out there that are lose, losing their kids. People out there going through situations where they they just, you know, me being a parent, losing your kid is way worse. I ain't going to say it's the worst thing in the world because God holds the key. So, he knows what he's doing. But, it's people out there, what I'm saying is, people going through worse things than we is by being homeless. I'm being homeless is horrible. Had not having a home of your own is horrible. But if you got your kids, you be grateful for that. Because people didn't lost their kids, bro. Not bro, but you know what I'm saying. People have lost their children. People has lost... Their moms, their dads, people they can't get back. Okay, they might got insurance on their kids or, or, or their parents or their father. Well, their parents, that's basically saying mom and daddy. Or those that just got a mama or those that just got a daddy. But no amount of, no amount of money in the world will bring them kids back or bring their parents back, or bring somebody they didn't lost that they close to. That just don't have to do anybody somebody close to. They don't have nothing to just do with them. You, we don't know what another person going through. So I have learned in my own journey, it's not just about me and my family. It's about the world. I pray for the world every day. I pray for y'all as my YouTube family. I pray for everybody in the world. Whatever they're going through, I pray that God bring them through it. Because being homeless is bad. Being homeless is bad. But losing somebody is bad. Everything that you could be going through that you're going through in this season anything that you're going through in this season just know that when you come out on top that's your testimony baby don't forget that don't don't take advantage of that i'm learning that now i'm not going to take advantage of what god put forth for me but i know as the growth continue i pray that he continue to bless me bless me to give y'all the word because this morning it was just like i didn't post yesterday i didn't do the things that i said i was gonna do daily but i realized something i'm still human and at that point i felt like helping my dad yesterday going to get teeth pulled he got four teeth pulled yesterday was important. Y'all are important too, to know my journey. But at the same time, I just want to, you know, make sure he got his medicine, make sure he was doing okay, make sure he all right, make sure, you know, you got the, there's things in my life that I just, my life just don't stop. It's, it's, it's a constantly go. Whether it's got something to do with my kids, my dad, my mom, they are very, I am big on family. I love my family. There's nothing I wouldn't do for them. But I know there are certain things that I can't do anymore. So, with that being said, um, yeah, I'm just going through 
a lot. I just feel like it's a lot. But I know that God is not done with me yet. And I'm going to say it every time I get on here to remind y'all it's a constant battle. It's a constant fight. It's something that you have to go through to get through because God is making you a stronger person. Whatever you're going through in this season, remember he is doing it for a reason. This is your season to go through it to see how strong you going to be. And that's what I feel right now. God is taking me through this to see how strong I'm going to be. Am I going to be the bigger person? Am I going to just relive the things that people have done to me? Am I going to go tick for tack? No, I'm not. At one time, I was just like, yeah, I'm going to do this to him. And I'm going to do that to him. And then guess what? Guess what? They'll see how I feel. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Because God has brought me through so much that I praise him for what I'm going through. I'm grateful to him on what I go through every single day. So y'all remember when y'all going through something and it's somebody, it's man. Man, men are put here to do the things they ain't put here to do the things they do but men are put here men are at fault too they're not perfect just like i always say i say um when people when men say no god always can say yes so don't give up what you're going through don't give up on it at all please don't because that lets you know the devil has won it don't be the people it's the devil he want to ride your coats here. He want to pull you down. Don't let him do it. Please, y'all, don't, don't, don't give him that kind of power. Don't give him that kind of satisfaction, baby. Because I do, I know y'all remember the song. Or if y'all don't know this song, shake, 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 shake the devil off. In the name of Jesus, shake the devil off. And that's what we got to do. Because he has no power unless you give it to him. Don't give him, don't give him none of your energy. When you get mad and you ready to cuss somebody out, remember, that ain't your battle, baby. Just walk away from it. Oh, you're a punk. I'd rather be a punk than the, the, the stoop to your level because, say, you ain't got no power unless you give into it, unless you give it to him. Don't give him that power. Please don't. So, with what I'm saying is, y'all, just keep praying. Keep standing uh, standing um, two feet down and keep going. Don't give up because this ain't your battle. It's, the God, it's God's battle. So let him fight that battle. And when you give it to him, leave it at him. Leave it there. Don't pick it up. Don't pick it up tomorrow because you feel like, oh, well, then, no, that's part of your testimony. That's part of what you're going through. Because when he finished with you, baby, in that season, that's going to be your testimony. Because once you come out on top, I had to grow, and I had to learn. So that's that's where I'm at now. I got to grow up. I ain't paying, I am not playing to protect no more with nobody baby nobody so that's where we at no more tick for tack keep put fighting keep on keep on go, fight, going through it with god and he will help you grow and that's where i'm at now growth so y'all with that being said even if you new subscribers, old subscribers, if you want to go back and look at my videos and you will definitely see the growth. Um, so with that being said, y'all, until next time, if you like my videos, please like, subscribe, and hit that little bell. And, and every time I post it, I'll let you know. Until next time, y'all, peace, one love, love y'all all, and be blessed today.